here's today's daily shout outs congratulations guys if you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video just leave a nice comment down below hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos and also be sure to put the bell notification on so you guys always get notified when I post a new video anyways guys I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel and it's gonna be all about scary true stories <laughs> So today we have some extremely hot tea because this story is crazy. I actually cannot believe this story because out of all places to be haunted, you would not expect this. Also, before we get into the story, be sure to drop a like because Angel is the cutest griffin ever. Right, Angel? This video should be getting to 20,000 likes because you're super cute. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see Angel in more videos. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about Toys R Us. You guys might be wondering, like, what? Toys R Us? How is Toys R Us scary? Well, there was a lot of tea about Toys R Us that I'm going to be dropping today, but about one specific Toys R Us. This seemingly normal toy store, there are those who claim that it's a favorite haunt of a very playful ghost. It's at night, after closing time, when the toy store becomes most haunted. This Toys R Us is haunted! Yes, bear with me, it is actually a haunted story, and it's a crazy story to say the least. If you guys don't know what Toys R Us is, you guys are probably younger, is my guess, but I grew up going to Toys R Us. Literally, Toys R Us was like heaven to me, like heaven on earth. When I was younger, it was either Disneyland, Toys R Us, or the beach. Those were like my three happy places. Whenever I would go to Toys R Us as a kid, I would always beg my mom to get me some stuffed animals or some kind of like bubbles or some kind of fun outdoor toy because I loved playing outside when I was younger. And I cannot even imagine that kids growing up now for the most of it, do not get to experience Toys R Us. If you guys did not know, Toys R Us went bankrupt a few years back and most of the locations are still closed to this day. Except for I do believe there's like a few locations of Toys R Us that are still somehow running. I don't think it's very many. I think it's like a couple. I think what usually drew me into Toys R Us was the big giraffe on a lot of the buildings when I was little. I just loved Jeffrey the Giraffe. Jeffrey the Giraffe is actually Toys R Us's mascot and I've just always liked giraffes and not only that, but I kind of look like a giraffe because I'm super tall. And most of the Toys R Us's that I went to had claw machines sitting inside of them And sometimes I would just drag my family into them just to play the claw machine because I love arcade games But when the toy industry started getting a lot higher and a lot more competitive That kind of sent Toys R Us to go bankrupt because Toys R Us was a whole store full of all sorts of toys Like Barbies, dolls, plushies, outdoor activity toys Any kind of kids toy that was hot on the market would be there However, Target and Walmart started to kind of compete with them because a lot of people went grocery shopping And then would buy their kids toys from Target and Walmart and so they wouldn't go to Toys R Us which caused Toys R Us to kind of go bankrupt. It was really sad at the time because a lot of the employees at Toys R Us actually lost their jobs. However, there are rumors about one specific Toys R Us that are quite crazy. Could a ghost be lurking here in this irresistible playground? This Toys R Us was the Toys R Us located in Sunnyvale, California, which is actually probably about an hour from where I currently am. So I know this Toys R Us has been ripped down since then because they went out of business, but it has been replaced by a new store. This Toys R Us building was built in 1970, and this one was actually built on top of haunted land that apparently goes way, way back. The land that it was built on was haunted for a while, and the haunted activity was extremely high. There's been many, many reported haunted incidents on this land. Before the Toys R Us was built over top of the land, there was a ranch in the 1800s that people lived on. It was owned by a man named Johnny Johnson. However, Johnny Johnson ended up dying on that land that they built the Toys R Us on. So now there are rumors that Johnny actually haunts the Toys R Us building and whatever store is now built on the Toys R Us property. Many staff members and customers who came to this location at the time that it was there reported hearing footsteps through the toy aisles, getting poked in the back, feeling a cold breeze of breath down their neck, and hearing their name be whispered into their ears when nothing was there at all. And even the bathroom stall doors would slam all by themselves and apparently the faucets would go on and off repeatedly all by themselves. Also, some of the female staff members that worked at this Toys R Us reported that their hair would randomly get tugged on or played around with all by themselves when they'd be stocking the shelves with brand new toy releases. Also, the highest activity hours of this Toys R Us were right before closing time of Toys R Us. It's at night after closing time when the toy store becomes more Haunted. Apparently, right before closing time, it was often seen that toys would be put
push off the shelves all by themselves. And not just like one toy box, but like the whole row would just slam off the top shelf by itself. And apparently the baby swings would swing all by themselves because they had a lot of baby toys and baby items in there. And any toy cars that were sitting out on tracks would move along the track all by themselves. And if I saw that at Toys R Us, I would probably cry. I'd be a little freaked out that things were falling off the shelf and nothing was there. But the absolute scariest and craziest thing that I had found online while researching this Toys R Us was that the employees at this Toys R Us at the time decided it was a good idea to perform a literal seance. And seances are demonic. Those are evil and that's something I would never do. But these people were like, no, we're gonna perform a crazy seance and get this ghost to come to us. Sylvia Brown believes she made contact with the ghost. As he walked down the hall towards me, kept saying, uh, have mercy on me. They wanted to perform the seance because their boss didn't even believe them about all the hauntings that were happening, and neither did their friends or family. So they actually hired a literal photographer to come in and take photos during this Toys R Us seance where they put candles all around and sat in a circle and tried to summon the ghost in the Toys R Us on that property. They literally ended up capturing a picture of Johnny Johnson during the seance. As you can see in the photo, there is a figure and it appears to be Johnny Johnson. He is tall and long and he seems to be wearing some sort of hat well I think it's a hat and it's a dark figure with kind of a white glow around it and you can see them at the bottom sitting there doing the seance which is actually terrifying so even though this Toys R Us store was taken down and replaced now in the new store that was put up the workers there still have paranormal experiences with Johnny Johnson just because they believe that his spirit is attached to the land there because that's where his ranch was built and that's obviously where he passed away also I don't know if you guys know this but I actually did live on a property that was haunted before because it was built atop of burial grounds yeah terrifying we didn't know that until obviously we had seen some paranormal activity in the old house I was in but one thing I've heard about that is that when construction is done on land the ghost there gets mad apparently because that was their land and if you're messing with their land they're gonna haunt you so all the construction that was done on the land including Toys R Us and including the new store obviously made Johnny Johnson pretty mad because people say now in the new store the paranormal activity is even worse and more demonic. This ghost has been crazy on the loose. He's been doing a lot worse things in the store and some of the workers even quit their job because they were too scared to even work in the store. That really says a lot that some of the workers wanted to quit their job just because of a ghost but this ghost still continues to haunt the current store it's in and people still report ghost activity on this forbidden land all the time. It's crazy that this Toys R Us got so much attention that it was in articles shows, videos, it went everywhere. I think even at the time a lot of YouTubers went to this building and tried to record some ghost activity. I mean it is pretty scary that Toys R Us could be haunted because it's such a fun innocent place and it's a place where little kids would go and I don't know why any ghost would want to haunt a toy store but that makes it quite terrifying. Let me know in the comments down below would you guys go to a haunted Toys R Us or anywhere that is haunted? Personally I would be pretty scared. I would never want to stay there overnight because ghosts scare me and I've lived in a haunted house before and if you guys want a story time about that let me know in the comments down below maybe someday I'll tell you guys about the horrid house that we moved out of that was super haunted anyways guys that's the dark truth about Toys R Us and all the scary stories that went along with this haunted Toys R Us that is absolutely crazy if you guys enjoyed this story time video make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you guys can join the arcade fam today it has been Lizzie I hope you guys have a wonderful day god bless you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video bye arcade fam so that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.